All right, so mail time. And in this edition of Mail Time, because I don't get mail often, we have Depth Before Designer Squat Company. So these guys have reached out to me and they said something like, you need more banners in the gym. And I said, well, why don't you send them to me? And this goes for everybody. I need to decorate my gym with all sorts of cool stuff. So if you guys have flags or banners or whatever, if you want to be part of my gym and see in the videos, send it here. Pretty sweet. This Before Dishonor. That is dope. Check them out. I'll put the link right here. Look at that, Death Before Dishonor, I love it. All right, I'm blown away. Thank you so much, Death Before Dishonor. You guys need to go check out their products. This is, I'm blown away. So I'm repping the hell out of this flag in the gym. Make sure you go look at the website, buy some stuff maybe, and uh, yeah, cool. I'm going to change into your shirt now, and now we're gonna go train. <music> Uh, what I'm going to show you guys was training from Friday and Saturday, and this week was a little unique. Uh, whoa, spitting some rhymes, baby. <laughs> but Saturday, I knew I was having some company. My friend Rob Howe, who actually uh, is where I get a lot of my equipment from in terms of strongman, he runs PA Strongest Man. He's a state rep for PA, and he's been at pretty much every one of my competitions that I've been in for strongman. So we've built a good relationship, and then he has a, a buddy or a friend of his named Corey. And Corey, I'm, I believe, competed in Worlds as a power lifter. Uh, he's a lighter guy, but he pulls, you know, in the 500s for being anywhere from 150 to 160 pounds. So that's pretty crazy. And he was going to come up uh, and just kind of train, check out the gym. So I was really excited about that. I also have a bunch of athletes, which I mentioned before, who are getting ready for their first drama competition called the Beast of Bloomsburg, which is September 15th. So I've been programming for them and running uh, training specifically for their events on Tuesdays and Saturdays. So we're gonna get some footage of kind of how they're doing. But I'm just overall really excited for them to compete because I've talked about competitions before. You're gonna learn a lot about yourself and it's something to train for. So if you guys are struggling with, you know, either staying motivated to train or skipping out on the gym, sign up for something that's gonna hold you accountable so that you can go to the gym and you can train. Uh, but kind of with my training, what I've realized this week is that I need to push harder, okay? So I kind of looked at how I was feeling last week and where my numbers were at, and I have some big goals that I have to hit. So the training for me, especially strength, is my main priority right now, uh, making sure that I can hit the sessions really hard, get good uh, recovery and rest time in, and just keep trying to get stronger and stronger. I did sign up for another competition, which maybe I'll give more details about in the future. I'm really excited about this because it's a different style of competition. It still is strong, man, uh, but I think you're gonna be stoked for what I'm doing, and I'm really excited, and it worked out perfectly, so I've just been Really fortunate for that to, to uh, go down and uh, I'll give you more details with that. But so anyway, since I knew that they were gonna be coming Saturday, normally I train Thursdays and Fridays. So what I did is I bumped uh, my Thursday training and put it on Friday and then the Friday training to Saturday so it could all work out. Now on Friday what I did is I knew I was gonna be deadlifting Saturday. So instead of doing the deadlifts on Friday like I talked about, I did my incline tempo benching. And this went really well. And like I talked about in my last video, I've been really trying to get up on my traps and use my chest more than my shoulders because I'm having that shoulder problem with my AC joint. So I really put some time into my bench setup and I'm actually gonna be getting some help with my bench and my arch from Alan Thrall actually tomorrow. So I'm really excited for that. Uh, but when I was doing these, I had to work up with five reps. Tempo count was four count down and a four count up. So if you, like I said before, if you wanna hate your life, throw these into the mix. And I had to do this for four total sets, RPE seven. I ended up working up to, I think, or I believe uh, 245. I'll correct myself on the video if I didn't hit that, but that's where I was working up to. And it's been feeling good as I'm getting better with my arch, less pain. Uh, from there, I just did some basic bodybuilding type stuff, uh, which was some cable, uh, I think upright face pulls. And then from there, I did a incline dumbbell bench for four sets. Uh, eight reps with a little bit of an eccentric and then an explosive uh, press straight back up. So from there, I want to work on my conditioning a little bit, nothing that was going to fry me. So I think at this point I ended up doing a 20 calorie row. I did a sled pull down and back twice and then I threw in 10 burpees and I did this for four or five rounds. Uh, I wasn't concerned with getting done fast. I just wanted to develop a little bit of a sweat, feel good, uh, get some different movements in there, get my heart rate up a little bit and help burn some calories. So if you guys want to try that, you're more than welcome to. Now, uh, during this whole time, I had some athletes who were training, getting after it, so that was cool. And then uh, Saturday, my man Rob and Corey, they had come up and I was doing snatch grip deadlifts. 
So I knew I had a push from last week on my snatch grip deadlifts, the RPE was off, and I ended up working up to 405 for four sets of five, and felt really strong with those. So I'm excited on how those are going, and I felt those in my legs so much more than my back, which is great because I've really been working on my technique, utilizing the leg drive in the deadlift, instead of putting all the pressure into my lower back. Uh, so those went really well. Uh, from there, what I did is I did some pause uh, strict presses, so it's actually when you go to strict press, but you pause slightly above the starting position and then drive the rest of the way through. So I did that for four sets of uh, eight reps at RPE seven. Those are definitely gonna burn you up, and if you have a sticky point uh, where you're pressing off of your chest slightly, right about the chin level, these are something you can work on, and uh, it's been a weakness of mine, so I'm really trying to pound those weaknesses. After I was done with that, Nothing crazy, I just ended up wanting to do some farmer carries and, uh, or farmer walks. So I took the farmer handles and I was doing about uh, 80 feet and moderate weight. And I was just trying to stay on the two minute, just going down and back. Like I said, this weight isn't heavy for me. I think uh, I was about 185 in each hand and just going down and back for uh, about, I think it was six, six or seven rounds. Uh, just developing a little bit of a sweat, wanted to kind of throw in an implement for that day and get a little bit of GPP work in, so that's what I did. But overall, training's been going really good. I'm excited for the future and the progress of this programming and my blocks and seeing how I'm doing. And uh, just tons and tons of volume, you know, nothing fancy, because that's what it takes to, to get the results you want. It's just gotta be simple, you gotta work hard, you gotta stay consistent, and just stay with the program. But I'm excited for all my athletes who will be competing. Uh, other than that, I have the Business Mastermind August 4th, which I'm really excited about. Some of you guys have signed up, and I don't. I think there's one spot left still. So if you guys want that spot, you gotta take that spot. That's gonna be like the golden ticket spot. Uh, but until then, guys, I'm gonna keep putting out great videos, more box talk videos. You guys are enjoying that. Maybe some product reviews, all that good stuff, and uh, maybe some how-tos just along the way. But make sure you guys check out the podcast. Subscribe to the channel if you like this. I do have uh, some t-shirts that I'm just trying to get rid of, so if you want, Guys, click the link below. See if there's any t-shirts in your size that you'd like. Support the den, I appreciate that. There's nothing cooler than when I see you guys tag me on social media wearing my shirts from all around the country, the world. That means the world to me. So uh, until then guys, stay Lean Me Train Machines. Peace out.